Hello everyone and welcome back to the second round of our monthly series here at Great Ogre Games. Of course it's October and we will always have this monthly series. My name oh is Mick, yeah. I'm one of your hosts alongside the future pro of Yampun. Hey guys. Uh, we're watching a match here between uh, Tian Kuang Kai and Go Guo Wei. Yes. And Dim Sa Boy X was asking how, how long more till life like... About two minutes ago, I was like, yeah. Yeah, three minutes ago. You lucky. You lucky. We are live now. We are live. Uh, Jeffrey Chan joining us on the stream. Uh, hi, Jeffrey. Very Why surprised. you no play? Actually, he doesn't have to play. Yeah, he's already he's qualified, already qualified for, man. So he qualified for the, for the uh, Invitationals. Yeah, man. Being last year's, I mean, like, being last year's champion and also top 18, I think, the last two yeah. seasonal qualifiers or the last three seasonal qualifiers. Yeah, really, so. yeah. Just, just stay at home. Yeah, huh? so easy. Oh, what is oh gross! Oh man, where's all the tissue paper? Outside there. Oh, yeah, no. I have some, but it's <laughs> yours. Oh, oh gross! <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? Why is that? Oh, 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 yeah. I don't know. There's some stuff on the mouse pad. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Kwan Kai here looks like he's going green black, and uh, Kuo Wei is just guy controlly. And Joji uh, got surgical extraction. I think we do. What? Surgical extraction. I don't know. Do we? Don't call. Uh, don't call me on that. I think we do. Just message our our Facebook and uh, our workers will get back to you. Yeah, <laughs> our workers, our staff, staff, staff. Yes, that's yeah. not. That's, that's a better term. Th thanks, Alfian. Yeah, we we on this po on this show we are not uh, the most politically correct people. So we no, don't we care. Not. Yeah, we don't care. We just we just speak our minds. Yes. Uh -huh. Kwangkai here swinging in for another three points of damage. Oh, hey, the life counter is not turned on. Oh. You think you can help help me turn okay, on okay. the life counter? Thank you, Alfian. Uh, Jeffrey saying still haven't found the deck that you like. Oh man, I I know I know the deck that I want to play. Wow, Golgari Fine Broker finds uh uh the is that a Jade Light Ranger again? Yeah. Four color control. Uh, that's crazy. That's cray cray, man. I want so I want so reanimator. Some crazy brew like that. Crackling Drake. Oh, nice. Quawei is playing. Uh, well, he's playing control. But the the means to which the control the the, the means to an end for control is the uh, crackling Drake. Wow. Amazing. Nice. Cool. That's Coolness. my favorite card, man. That's your favorite card. Yeah, it's Cracking Drake. It's cool. I don't it's, play it's it, but cool I like card. the card. Yeah. The card, the card design is so nice, actually. It's yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, just, you know, it gets bigger. It will always keep getting bigger, right? Right. Because, like, it doesn't matter what happens um, to your to your graveyard. Like, your graveyard can get nuked, but it will always be bigger. It will yeah, always just and, get bigger. Yeah, and the, the blue, blue, red, red uh, color restriction, it's so very color hungry. Yeah, and uh, so this allows some really good stats on it, good good text on it, like draw a card when you play this card or some stuff. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, it justifies. Yeah, it justifies. Like siege rhino. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> justifies an end. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Kuo here thinking about. I think he just lays the land and clears the board. Maybe. Yep. He knows that there's a Jade Light Ranger in Kwang Kai's hand. Right. That you can cast, but it uh, doesn't really Ooh, matter. Ooh, Rao. 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 Oh, Rao. Kai giving him a good clap. And then he... Oh, he takes up. Wow. Okay, so two cards. He gets to take a look at two cards and puts one in the graveyard and one into his hand. Uh, it's not going to die to these... Uh, no, it's not. No. Yeah, five points, of, five points of damage is not equal to six. No, it's not. And five, five is less than six. Why doesn't he just kill one of them? Or did he have, he didn't have enough I don't cards. think yeah, I don't think he had enough cards. He had like Rust Swift cards, Justice cards, and oh like no. some other card. Elders Reborn. Oh, that's not good. Ouch. Elders that's, Reborn that's does a get big rid of oof. It's a big ouch. Yeah, so Kwang Kai is playing the more uh control the the sorry, mid rangey The more mid rangey yeah. version as compared to what well, uh, what we saw, I think uh Parent 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 play. Yeah, yeah. what Parent was played just now. Uh, so I would expect Kwang Kai to be losing this matchup, but actually surprisingly, Kwang Kai's deck has a lot of tech against a control matchup. Yeah, in terms of some yeah. form of recursion. A lot of recursion, planeswalker removal, mm. pure value. 
Oh, uh, Elders Reborn is Elders Reborn is like Elders one of the Reborn more is very good. I guess most premium remover yeah. uh in the format now. Mm-hmm. One of the more premium remover in the format. Like yeah. you you get to a point, especially if you're playing control, right, where you can whittle down their board. Right. And then you play Elders Reborn and it's like, yeah, okay, you have nothing now, sir, or you know, and it's great against control, it's yes. great against it's even great against like uh, weenie yeah, uh, maybe it's not the best against weenie decks but it's very good against like mid-range decks right right yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Kuang Kai was playing like uh, Blade Crafter either because that is also a really good card against control matchup I think yeah yeah exactly you know force your opponent to yeah. give up their planeswalker potentially I, I'm really liking the card design on this uh, on what Wizards is us are going into right now because you have these very strange cards like a creature that's a kind of a removal that kills placewalkers and creatures. Mm. You have like removal on creatures. You have removal on channel, which gets you back more stuff. More stuff, yeah. You just get like value out of value. Yeah, like. and it's all in black green colors, which is like I it, think w- what what they need the most. I and think. it doesn't feel like power creep. No, it's at this not, point it's, it doesn't feel like power creep. It feels creep. fair. Like, yeah, it's, it feels it's very fair. It feels very fair. Um, the dim sum boy is asking, are those David slippers? Nope. What what have you David slippers? In the corner of the screen. Ah, uh, is that yeah, David? That's not that's not Uncle David. No, D- David is playing though. He's in the yeah, shop. Th- yeah. Who's that? Is that Solomon? No, no, that's not. Oh. That's not Po. Oh. It looks like Po from here. <laughs> oh, my, my eyes are, my eyes is really bad. <laughs> the, it's, it's the Po Po look alike. Anybody know who that is? I miss Bo. He used to come here a lot. Yeah, man. What now he has a job. <laughs> what happened to Sopo, man? Sopo. Yeah, he, he got a job. Damn. Like you. You, you got a job. And you s- yeah, but I'm still, still here. You still come I'm here a lot. Yeah, that's I'm a loser, man. That's why I keep coming here. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? Oh, Josh, call. Okay. 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 I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so uh, Kwanka here. Looks like he's going to... Koko Ko- Ko is like, has three mana open. So I'm not sure if Kwanka wants to go for the... Vraska here, right? Vras- Vraska the uh Vraska the Relic Seeker? Yeah, Relic Seeker. So I think if I want to jam in some smaller creatures like the Jade Light Ranger, see if that resolves. But then he's gonna play into board wipe, so his fire for magic has dim. Ah shit. That's sad. Poor was a great guy, man. Oh, Jade Light Ranger, here we go. So four cards in Kwang Kai's hand. Uh wanna see ooh Forest? Ooh, Assassin's Trophy. That's really good. One counter on the Jade Light Ranger. Looks like he's gonna he might wanna leave the Assassin's Trophy on the top because he wants to remove the Ascanta. It removes the planeswalkers. So I think SS Trophy just stays on top, right? I mean no way that goes to the graveyard. So Gonna, yeah, he's probably going to stay on top. Yeah, stays on top. We play another... Jer- oh, okay, taps four. Plays... Ooh, Vraska. Uh, the queen. The queen. Which which Vraska is this? I forgot her name. I keep forgetting her name. Golgari queen, right? Vraska Golgari queen. There it is. You may sacrifice another permanent if you do gain one life draw a card. That's plus two. Minus destroy target non land permanent with CMC three or less. Abrupt, de- abrupt decay effect. Yeah, this is a really good card actually. You can sacrifice a land, tap, tap for mana, sacrifice a land, draw a card, gain one life. Uh, yeah, four mana also makes it really strong. Not a very high casting cost. Just slam it on four. Fair card. You you. If you play it too early, you you lose permanence and you in exchange for card and life. But if you play it too, you, you play it later, you can kind of you, you kind of have overwhelming resources, so you can just sacrifice stuff willingly. So okay, so what's he gonna do? Okay, he's gonna sacrifice the land and draw plus the go- plus the Vraska. Okay, so Kuo's turn. Well, Kuo needs to answer the board, the creatures, and the planeswalker. So Kwangka is tapped out, so Kuo's chance might be here. Cleansing Nova into something. I'm not, I'm not very sure. Oh, tap 5. Wow, the fairy. 
Here we go. Or draw, draw and untap. Uh, so yeah, Huawei is trying to go for a longer game here. Tini is like a Deafening Clarion here. Deafening Clarion would be pretty good, I think. Wow, can't even answer the creatures. Alright, so maybe he's representing a... Uh, what's that called? Settle the Wreckage? Yeah. So this may... Maybe not the worst play. I think it's pretty okay if he has Settle the Wreckage. Oh hey, what's the judge call? Uh, priority. Who gets priority first? Um, uh -huh. Basically, if you had cast the spell, if you had priority and you cast a spell, or whatever, la, you okay, will we, get priority. We can, we can, we can yeah. retain priority. Yeah, yeah you, you retain priority. I think the, the question was uh, if a trigger ability goes on the stack and non-active player controls the trigger ability, oh, man. you will continue to gain priority. Oh. Yeah. Surprise main deck star of extinction. Yeah, that would be good in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> unfortunately, <Gotcha>. nope. <laughs> I don't think Go Away plays that. That's uh, fine. That that sounds like that's fun. That's way too spicy for him, man. Huawei is a serious player. <laughs> he only serious, yeah, serious he, player. He seriously only, looking into. He only plays uh serious cards. Yeah, seriously looking into Star of Extinction. Chibamo. <laughs> Chibamo. <laughs> uh so yeah, Kwang Kai takes that quite handily. I think um, you know, uh Huawei not having the bot wipe. Yeah, uh, I think Kwang Kai just generated way too much value there. Mm -hmm. Kwang Kai's Elos Reborn just went off and got back the Raul. The got Raul. back Raul, he yeah. got back, you know, uh, and then laid his own Vraska. Yeah, oh, it's just Crazy. too good, man. So mm. much value. I, I'm really not sure how, I'm really not sure how, like, uh, how Kwang Kai gets, uh, I, I don't know. Okay, so Kwang Kai, Kwang Kai is obviously going to be the aggressor, right? Kwang Kai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and being on the play, Huawei here gets to be like a better control player because like all the removal, as we mentioned earlier, start from turn two, right? Yeah. We saw Swift Justice. That's a turn two play. We saw um, Q Q MTG Arena for Star of Extinction. I've never seen the MTG Arena Star of Extinction oh, that's animation. That's, that's, a, that's some spicy. Stuff. That'll be fun. Yeah, we saw Huawei play like Crackling Drake. I think that might be a key card that will help way against Kwang Kai, but yeah. I, I he has to. I, but he has to protect it, right? Like yeah, so it dies so easily to so many of Kwang Kai has Kwang a stuff. lot of removal. Yeah, exactly. So so maybe you take it out for like uh, more control stuff. Yeah, but what then? What's what's ending the game? Your opponent right. scooping after he realizes that you're the ulti the fairy. Uh okay yeah so ulti <laughs> the fairy but ulti the fairy doesn't like win you a game in fact. You know, ulti the fairy with no with nothing to reduce your opponent's life to zero, like will make you lose the game because you've been drawing so many. No, you'll be surprised. I know a lot of control players who have no absolute win cost in their deck. They just play the fairy and dude. I just ask them, so what's gonna get your opponent from twenty to zero? They're like, oh, I just they just scoop. I'm like, ah. <laughs> they just scoop. Oh. <laughs> that's that's pretty bad, man. That's you know, I, I'm not I'm not kidding. It, that's a real thing. <laughs> So if your opponent is a control and you you don't think they have a wit con, you think they're just like uh, I ulti the fairy. Okay, just play it out. Play the twenty turns. Watch them deck themselves out, and you'll be like, I win. I win. Yeah, I win. I win now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeffrey here saying it's a meteor falling onto the battlefield. That's the thing. That'll be that'll be funny. That it's, is really cool. It's like you know you play Starcraft. And after you get the ghost to shoot the EMP, to, uh, not not EMP, the nuke, the nuke, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that animation is quite sick. Oh man, it's like you suddenly see like a bomb just suddenly fly out from nowhere. Oh man, I was pretty bad at StarCraft, man. Yeah. StarCraft is fun. Yeah, uh, counter spells and <sighs> spell explosion. Yes, oh spell. yeah, we That's did not true. see any counter spells on Crawway. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, so, but I do expect it to be yes. there, right? Like, you think Crawway is playing like a, some of a counter burny kind of deck with like Iron Eyes? Instead of like, what's that other card? Uh, this dismissive. I, yeah, ionize is ionize is pretty pretty good. The pretty the sabotage right, sinister sabotage. Yeah, is is quite good because like that allows you. That's the new age. Um, what's it? Dissolve. Dissolve. Yeah. yeah. Dissolve. You counter target spell scry one. Dissolve is so a really good card. Yeah, surveil is surveil is really good because like it, it helps with your your Ascanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So bot out your one to one removal and more bot out and draws. I think you need more like counter spells like essence scatter negates. You know, mm, a few of those, but uh, one to one removal is like not one very to one removal. It's not the best, but I still think you need uh stuff like. Vraska's Contempt Justice you still need, Strike Yeah Swift ju- uh, Is it Justice Strike? Swift Justice? Justice uh, Strike Justice Strike Justice Strike Pshew. It sounds like a Power Ranger Subtitle Power Rangers Justice Strike jan- 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 go- Oh yeah du- Duress and Carnage Terror Might be really good for Kwan Kai But uh, some Green Black decks Do not run Carnage Terror On the sideboard So mm. Actually I think Carnage Terror Is kind of an underplayed card Right now I wish it were Yeah I wish it were uh, more play because like it's such a good target for for uh what do you call it's it such for a, reanimation yeah it's such a game ending card yeah. you play the deck you, you play that card against the right deck they're like it's like modern you play blood moon the, against the right deck they just lose yeah exactly you play Kaisha against the right deck they just lose i'm surprised yeah i'm just surprised that it's not like being played even more yeah it's so good so good so good so good. Yeah, one to one removals are quite bad against Kokari creatures as they have ETB for sure, effects. Yeah. They, they, they've had their value already. They have right? a lot of yeah. two for one effects. Mm. Okay, so land pass. Yeah, I like you know, I I like mm. players who are playing currently like black black green. Uh Ooh. you know, just rock decks. What do you think about this this card? District guy? Sing a sing, no, not district guy. The the one on the field, the uh the squire. Squire Seeker, Seeker Squire. Seeker Squire, yeah. It's, I think it's it's making its comeback onto the standard scene. I'm I'm not a big fan, right? I I think it's okay. I, I honestly think that it's just very very okay. Uh, if you're playing green, I rather you play like Murfo Branch Walker, right? That trades with that trades with a lot of things on your opponent's side of the board. Right. And this doesn't like it. It blocks fairly well, mm-hmm. you know, but. Uh, Murfolk Branch Walker blocks very very well unless of course you're playing both oh yeah it's yeah, like yeah. both two drops mm. that, that go you know uh, it, it yeah because it's a 1-2 right it starts off as a 1-2 doesn't die to what's that the the chain whirler right the right the chain whirler effect if you if you drew a land off of it so I that's the only that's the only upside hmm. that, that this has so yeah. maybe it's better. Maybe it's better, but we don't see a lot of like mm. mono red decks uh, out on the field today. Yeah, and maybe that's an indication of the shift already. It's been that was a quick meta weeks. shift, man. Yeah, that was like three weeks. Well, yeah. generally at the beginning, you know, you're gonna have like a lot of aggro. You're gonna have right. a lot of hyper aggressive decks like mono white, mono green. Oh, district guide. Uh, sorry, mono white, mono red. District guide here. Uh, what is it looking for? It's looking for land. Oh, just a forest, forest and then pass the turn. Oh, yeah. Really reason for Squire 2 3, it can survive finality as compared to. Oh, the yeah, okay. Yeah, that's true. Branch Walker. That's, a, that's a good point. Yeah, Fine yeah. Finality yeah. I is did not a very powerful card, yeah. Also, it, it does just justice. Right? Oh, yeah. It just, it, yeah, okay. So maybe it more maybe it's more power to the to the Squire. A meta, a meta call, actually. More than actually a strong card, but meta call. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Deck design choices, you know. The deck design. Can Big Red play expansion as sideboard as counter spell? Yo, uh Dim Sum Boy, I actually I actually do that. <laughs> I actually do that. <laughs> so like I, 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 I put it in my experimental frenzy deck. What I do like line strike or uh, expansion line strike, line strike. <laughs> 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 or like, you know, they want to they want Oh, the, that's so fun. Yeah, yeah, or like the removal? Or like counter, uh, counter, counter spell, counter, counter, spell? counter, 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 counter your counter spell, expansion your counter spell, counter your counter spell. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Cool man. Yeah, so I, I have to. I, I have two in my sideboard. It's not. It's not an expensive card either. It's like you know. Yeah, expansion. Uh, expansion. Expansion. A kick fight with fire. Twenty oh. damage. <laughs> Feels good. Or like you, you know, because yours is on the stack first, right? If you, if you copy. They are, if you copy their kick of cu- fight with fire, then you deal them like 10 points of damage. Yeah, first. yeah. That's so fun. Bane fire, yeah, I think Bane fire is actually tr- strictly better, but. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, Expi- basically yeah. whatever was on the stack, right? And then you just yeah. copy it. Then you get to deal the damage first. Right. And so then your opponent's like, why? Why did I do that? <laughs> I feel so dumb now. Oh, man, yeah. That's uh, cute. That's I, I think good. four is a bit too much, right? I played two in my sideboard. Mm. Yeah. Two, two sounds about right. I yeah. think you can even play in the main board? No. Well, main board? <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe. That's super spicy. <laughs> yeah. 
Dune, the spices, man. Yeah, like, I always play. I always play a deck with a bit of spice. <laughs> can't play like the stock deck, man. Four bro, the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's Squawk? Oh, Squawk turn, right? He's he can he can lay land to five and cleansing Nova this board. Uh, doesn't feel like it's. Oh, he's got. I think he's got Clarion. Oh, he doesn't have the fifth land. Oh no. Yeah. That's not good. Unfortunate. Not in con your control, man. Control, mm. you want like lots of lands. If you run four bin, you can start casting from turn six. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> turn one bin, fire for five. Turn, uh, no. Turn six bin, fire for five. Turn seven bin, fire for five. Or six, turn eight, turn bin, fire for seven. Uh. <laughs> turn nine bin, fire for eight. GG. <laughs> Oh wow, takes what seven points of damage? Yeah, no, six points of damage. One, two, yeah, that's two goes down to 12. That's yeah. that's dangerous, sir. That yeah, is very, very dangerous. Is in trouble, man. And being short of mana, also not so good. Mm -hmm. He does have some untapped mana, though, so he, he might be representing counter spell against like some stuff. Okay, what's this? I can't see. Oh, no, uh, another, another secret squire, squire yeah. right? Okay. Wow, this you, you want to counter this, right? Because he oh wow, uh, or maybe you let him develop. No, I board. think yeah, you just let him let him resolve let him it. I think. On. Oh, Brassa's contempt is pretty good though. Mm. If Kuaway here has a uh, deafening Clarion, it would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you keep the Brassa's contempt on top, right? Uh, that's just a removal, just to. Keep your opponent, you know. Keep your opponent honest. Braska's contempt. Okay. Braska's contempt kept on the top. And then Ooh, Chemist's inside. Chemist's inside is good. Yeah. yeah. So well, he had one in the graveyard already, so he might just have. Um, he might have just uh, jump started it, but no, yeah. just draws from the Chemist's yeah, inside. Draw the yeah. Oh wow! Okay, so he gives out the land, which oh. means that he's got he's more got lands in hand. More lands, or like a better play. He's down to ten, though, so that's that's not very, not the most, not the best situation to be in right now. Yeah, if he doesn't lay a land like that, kind of wasted. Right, you should have just drawn the. Yeah, and have I mentioned how much I love like this this season's mana base? Mm. Yeah, the mana base is so good. You can play three colors very easily. Steam vents counts as a uh, uh, your your short lens count as like two double lens, double yeah. lens and your and, and then, then enters the battlefield untapped. Yeah, and right. you have the buddy lens which just come in and checks your lens. And if you are playing a a tricolor deck, any any short lens will will cause your buddy lens to come in untapped as well. Yeah. Um, which is like yeah. There's no yeah. There's there's so all smooth. the combinations. Yeah, and it's just uh. I'm not sure if it allows three colors, four color shenanigans though, like just kind of like. It's gonna be a bit hard. I mean, like you know, Jeffrey, Jeffrey here looks like he is the trying one who's some, trying. Yeah. Some spicy spice, man. The four color. Wow. Uh this does not feel like. A, this like, is not a good round, man. Yeah, this does not feel like a good position to be in. No. He's gonna get rid of the Jade Light Ranger, but. He tapped out though. This yeah. is like this is signal to conquer that. He can do whatever he wants this turn. If he draws a land, I think he will just drop uh, Vraska. Oh yeah, Vraska in this situation would be so good right now. No, it just keeps ticking Oh, yes, up. Vivian Raid in his hand too. You think you'll play the Vraska or the Vivian Raid? Uh, Vraska, of course. I don't see. I don't know what Vivian Raid does. Maybe he might play the Vivian. It's a $25 card, man. What? Yeah, I I, I didn't I, I did not think she was a twenty five dollar card, but now she is. Now she is. Look at the top four cards of your library. Reveal a creature or land among them and put them in your and hand. Just rest, the rest you put them on the bottom of your library. Then destroy target artifact and charm on a creature with flying. Do you, do you realize that like that like they're they're slowly putting more pl more spells on the planes walkers like they're Plus one, plus two. Plus yeah, it's just like spells. Is yeah, that's the thing. I don't, you know, I don't. I, uh, I don't agree with it. I thought you know some some of them should be like 
kind of interesting. Yeah, they're just even pop, even spells, man. Yeah, even like um, Rao, uh, the Rao, Rao Zarek. Rao Zarek, uh, he's got like a new spell that came out with him. Okay. That is that spell, right? Prophetic bolt or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. Uh, not prophetic bolt. The the one that deals damage equal to the number of instant sorcery in your graveyard right. and exile. Duress you. Wow, this is such a good duress because it's like paving up, paving the way for his Vivian. Oh wow, this is so bad for Huawei. This might, this might just be the game clincher right here. Mm -hmm. Beacon bolt, right? Beacon bolt. That's the one. Yeah. We jump start too. So like, I mean, you can do the same thing over and over again. Right, right. Mm. Ooh, this. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Huawei, Man, Huawei, Huawei better have be holding like s settle the wreckage. But if he is, uh, he is two right now because if he yeah, if, if he's not holding two, he's gonna get taken up by the duress and. He, so uh, here's the problem, right? Like you can't, you you negate that. Uh, two ironizes. Oh, this, uh, this, that, are those ironizers? Yeah. So he's got, but that's the thing. Like he has nothing in hand. Uh, he really has nothing. Oh, it's just expansion explosion right there. Just that, and then that's it. Like, uh, takes that out. He should expansion the duress. <laughs> that would be pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take back whatever. No, actually, that might be a good play. I think. Uh, it gives him information about his opponent's hand, right? So and he can go expansion, duress first, and then decide whether he wants to do the counter spell. Like he's a he's a pretty low life total right now. Yeah, yeah. I I th I think expansion the duress might. Yeah, might that be might have been might have been a better play. Yeah, 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 true. But Kwang Kai going to plus the Vraska, get another pirate. Ooh. And yeah, Kowei here just needs a board board wipe. He needs a board sweeper off the top, off the very very top. And even then, Vraska is Vraska's gonna be a threat. That yeah, Vraska's threat. still a threat. All right, jump discard start. that. Let's jump start a chemist's inside. Draw Cleansing extra Nova. Cards. Let's go. Cleansing Nova. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, quite curious that uh, mm. Kong Kai didn't play the Vivian Raid this turn. No, oh, no, he. Uh, oh, that's because he had a counter spell, right? Right. Yeah. Don't have to. Don't have to force it in. Right? Force. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to. You know. Just wait for Kawaii to deal with your bot. Yeah. Quick. Wait for Kawaii to force the force the bot wipe, and then mm -hmm. you. Oh no, I don't think he has it. He needs he needs land into Clarion. That's what he needs. Land. Clarion. Nope. And that's <laughs> it, yeah, does not find the board. Why? Ah, Quan Kai takes it two games to zero quite handily. Wow, that when the power of the green black deck, especially the mid range version, is so good. Yeah, you so get so much card advantage. So much value. Card advantage. Card advantage. I think right. I think Quan Kai really played it well because he 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 waited for the right moments to land his bombs. Mm -hmm. He played the tempo game until Kuwait was forced to tap out, and he would and, and he would play his like big creatures that yeah. would just last throughout the entire game and just yeah. yeah. Kuwait also being stuck on lands is is an issue. Yeah. So maybe we'll see another iteration of the Jeskai deck. Maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? All right, we'll be back in about uh, 25 minutes time with the next round of our monthly series. Remember, you can join us on the stream every Wednesdays, 8 p.m. at Singapore time, twitch.tv slash Games. You can also catch us on youtube.com slash Games if you want to watch all the replays. And if you like what you hear and see, just head on down to our uh, social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Twitter. Like, share, and subscribe, whatever, uh, you know, whatever we do or whatever you like that we do. And uh, last but not least, do check out our website, greyogagames.com, if you want to find out more about the invitationals and how you can be part of it. All right, we'll be back. So don't go away. See you guys. Bye.